Hey, what's up, guys? This is Anna Kiddy Sky bringing you another toy unboxing. Today, we are going to unbox the Soul of Shigoken GX43 Diamonds. A big, big shout out to Sir Mark Kennedy for hooking me up with this one. Um, I just got this today. We met earlier. Thank you so much, uh, Sir Mark Kennedy, for this amazing figure. Um, before we continue, I would like to greet everyone. Uh, Merry Christmas, guys, and Happy Holidays. So, let's continue with our um, toy unboxing. So, this is the front of the box. This is the bottom. This is the top of the box. This is the side the other side and this is the back of the box so uh, this figure is already considered a vintage figure I got this exact figure about 12 years or maybe 14 years ago unfortunately um, I sold mine and I've been uh, trying to have this one back in my collection. Fortunately, uh, Sir Mark Hannity uh, we made the deal with this. Um, we just I just swapped my um, SOC Taisujin for this. This is really amazing deal, and we are both happy with our figure. So yeah, let's continue with our unboxing. I'm not going to do an in-depth uh, review, uh, actually I just wanted to check the figure because I actually didn't um, inspect the figure properly a little while ago, but here we go. First we have the manual, I'm not going to open the manual, but I'm going to show you the front cover of this amazing booklet really good artwork then we have our accessories so Dimos is a martial artist robot and he have this bunch of accessories like this uh, those kind of weapons and if you look here this is the car that he's been using to transform into diamonds with the um, normal car and the check in. I'm not going to take it out, but just want to state the consent of the box. This one, I believe, is the stand. But I don't think I would want to take this one out. I'm not planning to display my diamonds with the stand, but you have that option. Now for what I want to call the main box. Here is the main box. You can see here that we have the alternate head for the um, track mode, the backpack, the, these are also part of the backpack, uh, this is for the transformation and that is for the robot mode. Here we have the plane of uh, Kazuya's sidekick. Kazuya is richer than the uh, Filipino dub. Kazuya and the Japanese. And here is the car. 
in a much bigger scale, it can open its um, canopy. You can open the canopy. You can see Richard right there or uh, Kazuya, which I believe, yeah, this can also uh, transform. There. Amazing detail for a very small figure. And now, for the moment we are waiting for the Dimus itself transform in robot mode out of the box. This is a heavy figure. It may look small, but this one is a heavy figure. So, um, we, you can open the head by doing, uh, by pushing this, uh, we call this, and I'm not sure if turbine or exhaust, but you can slide, uh, the sides like the, um, SOC Dairogger or Vehicle Voltron to expose the face so this is the Dimos a one amazing figure a heavy figure for its size really solid figure so this is the front I'm not going to uh, transform the chest maybe later um, off cam because uh, I'm not I, I don't remember how to transform the robot to the trap room, but yeah. Let's just inspect the robot for uh, any damages or whatsoever. But I believe the robot is in an amazing condition. So, for articulation, the head is in a ball joint. Can do whatever you want with it. Uh, the hands can go 360. It's in a ratchet joint, but I'm not going to push it too hard because, like I said, this is already considered a vintage figure. The elbows you can bend the elbows that far, and you can twist the wrist, but I'm not going to do it. Then, um, I think you have to pull down the leg or whatever it is this, so you can do kicking action, but it's fine. It's, it's decent. I'm not planning to uh, do any dynamic poses with this figure. For a very old figure, it's scary to do those kind of poses so for the knees this one have one amazing knee articulation can bend that far really really great for the feet i i'm not sure if um I believe it's in a double bowl joint, but the allowance is kind of strict, so you can actually do something. I, I think you can pull this down, but since I'm not consulting the manual, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to damage the figure. So yeah, basically I just wanted to unbox my diamonds with you guys because it's re really been a while since i held a gx43 in my hand so yeah um would i recommend this figure yeah, absolutely i'm going to recommend this figure if money is not is not an issue i think 
you, you'll still get what you pay for. But we know how, uh, how expensive SOC Diamond is right now compared to when it was released um, 12 to 14 years ago. But yeah, if you are looking for, it, for a Dinos figure, you better get one for yourself. Or maybe um, someone like uh, Sir Mark can do a trade for you. So you can have a Dinos without paying anything. Well, not technically you didn't pay anything, but you, you get the point. So yeah, I think that's going to be it guys. Um, thank you for watching. I'm sorry if this is such a rush uh, video, but I just want to um, do an unboxing of this. I'm not planning to do an in-depth uh, review. Maybe, maybe I'll try, but I can't promise. Um, I die Zujin review. Unfortunately, it was corrupt. Uh, the video got corrupted, so I cannot upload mine. Um, I'll try to recover my video. Um, it's really a long video. It it involves the Daisujin Dragon Caesar and King Bracken. So yeah, unfortunately, I cannot deliver it in time. It was supposed to come out around uh, three weeks ago, and yeah, fortunately the video got corrupted, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, this is Amakyu the Sky, Merry Christmas guys, happy holidays, I'll see you again, I'll see you again on my next uh, toy unboxing, bye, thank you for watching. Uh, Thanks again, Sir Mark Tennant Cedro. Thank you.